20 million? No. 1 billion. A year? A year. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the Sing Project. Suit, suit, you know. <laughs> it's your boy Mohammed Singh. Today we're gonna do the first challenge of the week. Okay. And I Japan sort of simply the care challenge. Okay, I'm gonna do true or false. Okay, everybody watching at home, follow along, play along. See how many facts you know, and let's see how many I can get right. Okay, my brother's gonna ask me facts about what's the topic today? Canada. Yeah. Okay. Today's topic is Canada, and he's gonna ask me ten facts, and I gotta tell them if it's true or false. Let's see if you can play along. Okay. Start with uh, fact number one. Let's go. Fact number one: Canada is the second largest country in the world. Canada is the second largest country in the world. Okay, from going forward, say them a little bit slower. Canada is the second largest country in the world. That's true. That is right. That's true. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna guess that Russia is the bigger one. Yeah, Russia is the first. <laughs> and then followed by Canada, which is 9.985 million square kilometers. Oh, okay, there we go. That's number one. Right. Let's go. Right. What's fact number two? So Canada's lowest temperature ever recorded was minus 58 degrees Celsius. Canada, oh man. <laughs> Winnipeg, the which way, Arna? That probably happened in Winnipeg. <laughs> minus 58. Oh my God. Is that the lowest recorded though? Is my question. Because... I'm sure Winnipeg has been worse. Been in Manitoba, you don't know what you're Winnipeg is probably worse. Minus 58. I'm going to say it's false. That's right. False is the answer. However, no, not in Winnipeg. Winnipeg has never had Winnipeg. Okay, Winnipeg to New York. It was in actually a small village called Snag Yukon where it uh, hit minus 63. Minus 63? That's the Damn. lowest ever recorded. And it's, it's actually that's actually as cold as the surface of Mars. Can you know Mars better? <laughs> okay. No, Next right. one, let's go. Fact number All right. three. Alright, so Wood Buffalo National Park and Alberta and Northwest Territories is larger than Switzerland. Oh yeah. Yeah. Switzerland doesn't have a yeah. I'm gonna say true. That true. Is. That is true. That's true? Yeah. What are we at? Three? That's yes, three of three. Three for three. This national park is 44,807 square kilometers, uh, making it bigger than Switzerland and also Denmark. Okay, wow. Holy. But Canada does have some big parks. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. Banff National Park, beautiful. Kadigayo, Jagayo. Diga, Calgary Valley. I know you guys there. Fact number four. Let's go. In Churchill, Manitoba, residents don't lock their doors. Oh yeah, I've been to Churchill, Manitoba. <laughs> uh, that is true. That is definitely true. Othe lock nahi karte because they wanna be able to get run away from polar bears because they have polar bears and it's cold. Yeah. And you need to run. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I hope they don't lock their doors. Yeah, no, they don't uh, lock their car or uh, home doors at times because, yeah, if somebody needs to run away, they have a place to go. Wow, the honor system really plays up there. Okay, this game also will have the honor system. Don't worry, I didn't answer the sissy. I fact not know the first So as he's reading them is when I'm learning them, okay? So I know you guys will be like in the comments, don't worry, Minone Neida said, just because he's my brother, he's not helping me, okay? <laughs> what are we at? I mean, I tried to make these as hard as I could. I'm well, not that hard, but. Yeah. What are we at? I'm at uh, four. You're at four for four. Four for four, baby, let's go. What's yeah. next? Next one is uh, Winnie the Pooh is inspired by a bear from Ontario. Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. No, that's Winnipeg. That's why Winnie, the guy is from Winnipeg. Yo, that's that's false. Yeah, it was false. Yeah, it was uh, inspired My by my boy Winnie the Pooh. I know that one. Every, yeah. If you're a Winnipegger, 
you know Winnipeg is yeah. claims Winnie the Pooh proudly. Oh yeah. <laughs> Any actual bears, you know? Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was bear. a bear who had at the Winnipeg Zoo. Yeah. Um, and back in like I think it was World War One or one, I think it was. One of being the blue I could be wrong. And, and uh, being a pr Patricia, Princess Patricia, yeah. uh, the they had to do with the one of the food, but I'm not gonna go into that. Okay. Yeah. Next fact. So that's five. Yeah, five for five. Oh, 50 percent success. Adha rasta the okay. If I did this well in actual school, maybe mad any kardonda. Yeah, yes so. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, number six. six. Let's go. Uh, Canada is the third most educated country in the world. Canada is the most third most educated country in the world. Ooh. I'm gonna take a shot and then dark hair. False. It can't be third. There's no way. There's smarter countries out there. No offense. Okay. There's smart, smart <laughs> So countries. you're right, technically false, but we're actually the most educated country in the world. We're first. We're first. Yeah, we have oh, over wow. over fifty six percent of Canadians have a college degree, and our literacy rate in Canada is ninety nine per ninety nine percent. Okay, okay. Oh, well, I was right. So six. Yeah. Okay. I don't. But we're number one. <laughs> yeah. Go Canada. Yeah. Canada. All right. Okay. Let's go number seven. Canada produces the most amount of maple syrup. Yes, Canada definitely has a lot. True. Yeah, that's an easy one. That's a definitely easy yeah, one. Yeah, that's an easy one. Uh, yeah, true. In fact, maple syrup is um, so popular here. We actually had the largest maple syrup heist in the world. And it's actually called the Great Canadian Maple Syrup Heist, where they... <laughs> this is a true story. In Quebec, they actually stole... Over 3,000 tons of maple syrup. And you know how much that was worth? That's worth about about 21, 22 million dollars worth of maple syrup was stolen. <laughs> I don't know hey, how. Somebody loves their pancakes. Yeah. But they stole maple syrup. 22 million dollars worth of maple that's, syrup. That's such, a can, that's such a Canadian story. Yeah, that's... Okay, three Canadian if you know what maple syrup is. But... On um, pancakes, waffles. Actually, I'm a waffle person. Do is the best. Okay, <laughs> next fact. Let's go. All right. Canada is so large that it occupies four different time zones. Okay. Today thinking करनी पड़नी थे. So there's Pacific Standard Time. There's Mountain Standard Time. There's Eastern and Western. So I want to say, yeah, true. That's true. There's four. Okay. Really quick. You just said that so confidently too. It's false. I have never in my life heard of Western times of Western. You, you said Pacific, which is basically the Western. Um, yeah. Western. So Pacific, Mountain, Central, which we are, by the way, Winnipeg, Eastern, um atlantic and then also newfoundland holds its own uh, time zone called newfoundland time zone okay damn those, uh, new fees are uh, first wrong those new fees is that are my first wrong yeah that's your first wrong what is uh what are we at now we're at uh seven, seven of eight seven and one you got seven out of eight okay. right. right not bad not bad and uh shout out to newfoundland all the new fees out there best people and Friendliest people in Canada. Okay, let's go All next. Right. Uh, almost forty percent of Canada's population lives on South Ontario. Forty percent. Okay. Because apni yeah, pop, most population in Canada does live east of Manitoba. So I want to say, but forty percent doesn't sound right. I'm gonna say false. Uh, no, true. Oh, I thought it'd be higher. No, okay, yeah, no, that's what I thought too. But I thought uh, it was higher. But that's what I thought too. But I guess uh, BC, you got like uh, uh, Quebec actually has, uh, the, I think, the second largest. I oh, because it's just Ontario. I'm thinking like everybody east of us. No, no, I'm th I'm more, saying just south uh, yeah, South Ontario. South so Ontario. like uh, Toronto and surrounding areas yeah. host almost about 15 million 
people. Oh, okay. Shit. Yeah. Okay, well, two wrong. That's all right. Still winning. I'm still over the half. Boss, I'll give him All right, I guess. Anyways, the last one. Okay, last one. Let's see. Let's see what has to go. All right. Canadians eat the most amount of donuts in the world. All the cops. <laughs> I have friends that are cops. No, they don't. Okay. <laughs> um... Canadians eat the most amount of donuts. I thought Americans won that title, but I'm gonna say false. I'm gonna say false. I want to believe that the Americans eat more donuts. Corn can they hold donuts? I'm sure did have my share of them. Okay, <laughs> wrong. Uh, it's actually true. Canada is number one for most amount of uh, okay, donut more consumption. Okay, more than the donut in Nemini Swab. Come on. You, do you want to know how much? Uh, do you want to guess how many donuts we eat in a year in Canada? Guess the number. I wasn't expecting it. I'm gonna guess uh, around. I want to say five million. <laughs> you sure? Donuts. You sure? Donuts. Yeah. Are we talking about Timbits or donuts? Donuts. Donuts, five million. Five million? No, wait. Our population is about thirty-three. I want to say half of that, so maybe ten million. Ten million? Ten million. I'll just say this: you're extremely off. Twenty million? No, one billion. A year? A year. <laughs> One billion donuts. One billion donuts a year. <laughs> yeah, I searched it up. I looked up like different. Like I, I didn't believe it at first, so I like searched it up like on different places. And yeah, no, that's right. We have, we eat about a billion donuts in a year in Canada. Okay, Canada valeo. Maybe that's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's crazy. Tim's, Tim's definitely. Actually, that's a sign good. for two things. First, lay off the donuts. Second, start a donut business. Get in the donut world, because a billion donuts—that's a whole market on its own. No wonder Tens is doing so well. Okay, so how did I do there? What See, did we get? You got seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Not bad. Percent. Not bad. How many did you get right at home? Kinne sahi kitte? Pata hai facts? Minu the pata nisi? I guess I did three wrong. Not bad. Seventy percent out of a ten. That's not bad. Okay. Chalo. That was a little bit of fun. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like, comment, share, and hit that subscribe button. I don't know why you guys keep missing the subscribe button. Okay, hit that subscribe button. Show some love. This was a lot of fun. We'll get to a new challenge tomorrow. See how it is. If you want to be on the challenge with us, give me a shout. We'll set something up. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Enjoy your Wednesday. It's Hump Day. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace and cut.